Let's make one more exercise in Autodesk Fusion. In this video, you'll learn how to use the extrude, hold, and fill it. So open the Fusion and let's go. The first step to create this part here, we'll make the base, okay? So we'll select the top plane and make this sketch here. Here will be the midpoint in the center of this rectangle. So we'll make a rectangle with 17 by 100 millimeters. And in the corners, we have a fit with 10 millimeters of radius. And we have four holes that is concentric with the fillets with 10 millimeters of diameter. Okay. And we needed to extrude this profile 10 millimeters. Open the fusion, go to create a sketch, select the top plane, select your rectangle, center rectangle. Click here in the midpoint, make a rectangle here 100 millimeters by 70 millimeters. Okay. Go to fill it, make a fill it with 10 millimeters of radius here. Okay. Now select a circle. Make a circle in this point to be concentric with the radius, okay? Go to sketch dimension. This circle has 10 millimeters of diameter. Now go to constraints and select the echo. Select the circle in this one. Okay. Now finish the sketch. Go to extrude, select this profile, extrude this 10 millimeters, okay? We made this, the beige. Now, we'll select the front plane and make this sketch here. We have the dimensions here. We'll take this point here from the base and we'll make a line here with 15 millimeters create an arc here with 50 millimeters of radius and create another line here with 30 millimeters of radius and we will use the offset to make the same sketch here with 10 millimeters of distance and we'll close the sketch here okay then we'll need to extrude this 40 millimeters okay look that this circle is tangent with this line and with this line so We'll make this body here, okay? So we'll open the fusion here, go to create a sketch, select the front plane, go to create, select the project, including project, the selection filter, select the body, select this body here, press OK. Select the line, click here in this point, make a line here with 15 millimeters, and create an arc here, and create a line here with 30 millimeters, okay? Now go to sketch dimension. The radius here is 15 millimeters of radius. And make this arc tangent with this line and tangent with this line, okay? Now go to modify, select the offset, select this profile here, this curve here. And the distance here, 10 millimeters. And press okay. Now select the line and close the sketch here. We have this profile, so finish the sketch. Go to extra, select this profile. The direction here, select the symmetric and measurement, holy length and the distance here, 40 millimeters. Operation join and press OK. We made this. OK. Now we'll make this circle here, the cylinder. The cylinder has 40 millimeters of diameter and the length 25 millimeters and 5 millimeters to this side, 20 millimeters to this side, okay? We'll select this line here, this face, to make the sketch. So go to create a sketch, select this face here, select the circle, take the center of this edge, make a circle here, 40 millimeters, finish the sketch. Go to extrude, select this profile, and the direction here, select the two sides, and the side one, five millimeters, and the side two, 20 millimeters. Operation join, we have 25 millimeters here, press OK. We made this, okay. 
Now we'll make a hole here through all M20 2.5. So let's create this. So go to create, select hole, select this face here. And now click here in this edge to edge reference. So the hole will be concentric with this circle. And the extend here, select all. And the holy type, simple. The holy tape type, select tape it. And the size here, 20 millimeters. And designation, M20, 2.5. And I will select here, modelate. And press OK. We made this. OK. Now here, we'll make this rib here. So to create this, we'll take this point here and make an arc here. This arc is coincident with this face here, with this line. And we need to extrude this 10 millimeters, or this rib here has 10 millimeters, okay? Of thickness. So go to create a sketch and select the front plane. And here you can go to create project, include project, selection filter, select the body, select this body here, press OK. We have this. Now go to create and select the arc, three point arc, select this point and this point here. You make an arc here. This arc must be tangent with this line here. Okay, so select this tangent, constraint, tangent, and select this face. We have this, okay, and finish the sketch. You can use a rib here or you can use extrude. So I will use extrude here, select this profile, the direction, symmetric, measurement, whole length, and the distance here, 10 millimeters. Operation join and press OK. We made this, OK. Now we need to add a fillet here. So we have a fillet. Sorry, we have a fillet here and this face and this edge. And this edge, we have a fillet here. And we have fillet in this two edge here. Okay, in this edge here. And we have a fillet here. We have a fillet here. The fillet, all the fillet is, is two millimeters. So go to modify, select the fillet, select this edge, this one. Two millimeters. We made this. Press OK. Now I'll add some color here. Press letter A in the keyboard. The apply to face, select this face. This one, this one, this one, this one here. Here will be black. Okay. Now the other part will be red. You can select the body here. Move red here. Keep. We made this, okay. Now select the faces again, select this one. Select this face here. Here will be yellow. And here is black, this face here is black. Let me change this red a little bit. And that's it. Here we finish our exercise. So thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for more. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.